for you. Ecto Marfs, you have the exact opposite problem. Ectos are just like Helen. You're skinny, 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 but you only look skinny in the clothes because the body fat on your body is thin. It's fully layered though, but it doesn't get too thick. What happens is it just gets very dense. It is dense fat. And a lot of times those are harder to burn. They're harder to hide. They're harder to get rid of. How many people here uh, classified themselves as an ectomorph? Do we have any ectos in here? Ectos, 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 ectos. Got a couple of ectos. Okay, good. A couple of ectos in here. Awesome. So here's the thing you got to know. Unlike us endos, you need carbs. You need carbs. You need carbs. Why? Because in order to build muscle, you actually need carbs and protein together. Endos don't need it because as you're building, you, you, you build muscle like that. Your body responds to just building the muscle. The problem is that it's always accompanied with fat. Ectos are the reverse. They can burn fat. Like they, their fat can go down really quick. Their protein, if they have enough protein, can help them build muscle fast. The problem is that protein alone won't do it. So in terms of ratio as an ectomorph, you just have to remember this. Here is your plate once again. Half of your dish has to be protein, okay? So you gotta have a little bit more protein than the endos. The other 25 to 35%, and I'll explain this in a second, has to be carbs if you're in ectomorph, okay? Then fats have to be the remaining, whatever that is, 20%, let's just say, right? 15 to 20%. Now, why is this important? It's because Ectomorphs go like this, they go skinny, and then they start to build, and then they go skinny. They're like a living accordion. They're like, oh, I'm getting bigger, no, I'm getting smaller. Oh, I'm getting bigger, we're getting smaller. Sounds like an exaggeration. Helen's weight was exactly that. I'm building some muscle. Oh crap, I forgot to eat lunch. <laughs> go right back to skinny. Oh, I've been working so hard to get my meals. Go, okay, I forgot to have breakfast and I didn't have enough protein. She starts to get skinny. Having carbohydrates, now let me say real quick, okay? You want the good carbs, not the bad carbs. Alan, there's two different kinds of carbs? I thought you said this is simple. This is not simple, Alan. Carbs are carbs, what are you talking about? No, really, this is still simple. You just gotta remember in color. You've got white, you got brown. You got white, you got brown. There's two colors, ladies, and that's it. If it's white, it's not right. If it's brown, go to town, go eat it. I tried to rhyme that so you kind of remember a little. I know it's cheesy. Forgive me. This is a Zoom call. It's a one-way conversation. I got to keep you entertained somehow, right? So if it's white carbs, avoid it. Everybody, make a note real, or just say in the chat real quick. How many white carbs do you have? Like white sugar, white bread, white pasta. Does anybody have that here? I know I do sometimes. It's not a big deal if you do, but just be aware of it. Do, do, do you have some of that? Yeah. So here's the thing. Sometimes, right. As we all do sometimes. Here's the thing. Make a note of this, ladies, because it is super vital. The average ectomorph, mesomorph, endo, the moment you have a white anything, you literally have 20 minutes to 60 minutes before that consumption of white goes into sucks <laughs> why does that suck it's because your body gets almost zero time to burn it off that's the crappy part about the simple sugar simple easy like that the white carbohydrates and that's the stuff that i mean look we're living in a really modern world right there's gonna be whites whatever everywhere so can we avoid it? Well, no, no, but we can definitely minimize it, right? And we can definitely replace those white with a lot of brown. So for example, if you're having sugar, instead of white sugar, have brown sugar, yay. 
instead of white rice all the time, have more brown rice. Instead of white bread, have more brown types of bread. Well, why brown? Brown, 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 why, 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 why? It's because when you have a brown substance, a brown carbohydrate, that gives you the opportunity to have it sit in your stomach for up to, I say up to because everybody's body is different. You have up to four hours, four hours versus 20 to 60 minutes. You've got four hours where that sucker sits in your stomach and it slowly burns. It slowly digests. It slowly starts to transform into a stored energy that's called glucose, which gives you a lot more time to do whatever, to do to go for a walk, to go up the stairs, to go down the stairs, to do one push-up, to do a lot of push-ups, to do one little crunch, to pretend you did some crunches. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you get a little active, which we'll talk about tomorrow, you have a lot more time to avoid having that turn into fat. Ladies, I gotta tell you, so many occasions, there have been several people that I've had to work with where all we did, all we did is we got them off the white, we put them on the brown. And literally, their bodies already start to shrink. Shrink as in it was becoming more effective. It wasn't storing fat anymore. It was burning it. One of my, one of my students, uh, I run a self-defense class here in Vancouver. Pre-COVID, I had three schools that were, that were operational. And one of my students had to leave his, his, unfortunately his wife got sick. He was gone for six months and he was a heavy set guy, nice guy, but couldn't run squats hurt like hell because he was carrying so much weight. And he came to my class for training to get fit, but he had to leave. He comes back six months later and I swear to God, he showed up and it was like half of them showed up. I'm like, what the hell happened to you? You look good, but what did you do? Cause you said you couldn't train. He said, Alan, you told me to get off the white and start using brown. And you told me to have more protein and less carbs. I'm like, I'm waiting for the punchline, right? I'm like, so, okay. And he goes, no, no, that was it. I, I, I had to take care of my wife. She was ill. I've been working like a dog. And then as soon as I get home, I, I take care of my wife. I got no time to gy for gym. I cancel my gym membership. I still have to eat though. I'm like, yeah, but didn't you do anything else? Like he said he ended up losing 80 pounds. It was over six months, but it was 80 pounds. Think about that for a second. How often do you, if, if you'd known somebody who had just lost a lot of weight just from changing the food intake, not reducing, we're not talking about, we're not talking about like eating like a bird, right? You're still eating, you're still enjoying your life, you're still having your food, but just the change of white to brown alone, if you knew that that was possible for you to just go and shrink, to lose that body fat, what would that do for you? What would that do to your confidence, knowing that something so simple could create such a remarkable improvement? And I'm not just talking about the weight, okay? I'm not just talking about the way. I'm looking at him and he's smiling. He's going through his challenges still, just like you and me, right? We all got life challenges of some type, right? But he's like, Alan, you know, I missed you guys. I haven't been able to train. I wanted to come say hi. But I also want you to know that even though life is tough, like I'm still better. I can work more. My back doesn't hurt. I've got more energy at my job and at home. He said, I can sleep less now. I don't have to sleep eight, nine hours to feel normal. He said, I'm so busy, I could barely even get that. Now I can sleep six, six to seven, and I feel like I slept 10. If you knew that just that one change in what was going in your mouth could give you all those added benefits before we even talked about building some amazing Helen Fong lean muscle tissue in there. If you got all those benefits already before the game started, how would that benefit you? I would argue that, that just one thing alone would make a dramatic improvement in so many people's lives. Don't wait for someone to tell you to do it. Give yourself the gift of looking at your cupboard today at the end of this call 
and just looking, just say, okay, what's white here that I can turn brown? That's it. That one thing alone will transform your life completely. Trust me. Okay.